Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you the uh, noise levels of my three, 2008-350Z after I have installed the following parts. <clears throat> um, basically five or six components have been installed and uh, I'll just list them off real quick and you can look them up um, if you don't know what they are. But uh, I put in a Jim Wolf Technology heavy duty clutch, JWT uh, HD clutch, which comes with the uh, um, 1200 uh, kilogram pressure plate. Um, also, uh, with that, instead of going with a lightweight flywheel, and that's uh, a big reason this is so quiet, uh, I went ahead and bought a brand new Nissan OEM uh, dual mass flywheel. Those, if you look them up, they're stupidly expensive, but they are designed with dampeners in them and, and such to, um, and they're very heavy to um, uh, counteract the noise in these uh, cars and the transmission. So. Uh, we've got those two parts and uh, I replaced the uh, concentric slave cylinder with a Z-speed slave cylinder. Uh, it's a heavy-duty aftermarket slave cylinder and uh, it has braided steel lines on it instead of the factory rubber lines. Also, I replaced the uh, master cylinder, stock master cylinder with a uh, aftermarket Willwood, W-I-L-W-O-O-D. Um, master cylinder which is also a uh, a, uh, a better a much better quality and it's uh, and it's heavy duty it also uh, replaces the um, <clears throat> lines on it with uh, stainless braided lines so those are the key uh, components I don't think it left anything out we got the JWT um, clutch with the, with the pressure plate with a brand new um, Nissan dual mass flywheel with a, a new uh, concentric slave cylinder that's aftermarket from Z Speed and a new master cylinder uh, from that's heavy duty uh, from Willwood. And uh, every line in the system, in the clutch system, in the hydraulic system, uh, has been replaced with a uh, stainless steel braided line. So there's no more um, uh, rubber lines. So uh, with the rubber lines, you being what they are, uh, in a hydraulic system, there's room for expansion. And uh, so now there's absolutely no room for expansion. That can be good and that can be bad. What it does, uh, I guess the only negative thing uh, with that would be uh, it causes the clutch pedal uh, potentially to be a little stiffer than it would with the OEM rubber lines but uh, the clutch pedals is I mean I mean here it is let's see if the camera will show it I mean I know you can't tell from looking at that how stiff that is but it's it's stiffer than stock because it's got a, uh, a much stronger uh, pressure plate on it but um, it's not just you know stupid stuff um, so we all know that at idle when you release the clutch that that in the 350z's and probably the 370's I believe as well uh, that you're gonna have that uh, that chattering noise which is you know is gonna be the um, uh, throw out bearing and the transmission noise you know uh, and and that's pretty much all you should really hear with a stock setup. So let me just go ahead and start the car. I've already talked about what it, what's in it for four minutes. So I'm just going to start it up. Uh, the windows are up and all that good stuff. So here we go. It's in neutral. In neutral. Break, breaks up. So... So, I mean, that's, that's quiet. Clutch is out. So you obviously can't hear uh, absolutely anything here uh, inside the car. Now, what you guys want to hear is what does it sound like out here. 
it is so much quieter than it was stock of course you can still hear the uh, the uh, throw out bearing when I mean, the clutch is disengaged or it's actually engaged but, but the clutch pedal is out so I'm going to push the clutch in make sure there's no cars going by so the camera's pointing down right by uh, where it would roughly be I'm going to push the clutch in and then I'm letting it out in out and I'll rev it a little bit and another thing is when the reason I went with this flywheel is is so it would be quiet because with lightweight flywheels you get chatter um, up until from about idle up until about right there you I, you'll get chatter with the uh, lightweight uh, flywheel when it's in gear under load so I've got it in first I'm gonna get it out here just go down the road a little bit and you'll hear I'm starting I'm starting it right now in first going to second going to third popping it down in neutral so there's absolutely zero chatter I mean none and that is why I spent the $800 uh, on the OEM flywheel instead of getting a lightweight flywheel. If it doesn't bother you to have the chatter, then by all means, uh, a, light, a lightweight flywheel gives you better performance, no doubt. This right here, the uh, rev, the, uh, uh, the, the throttle response, is going to be um, more responsive with a lightweight uh, flywheel. So, I wish I had another Z here that had the uh, uh, that had a lightweight flywheel, so I could like you know hop in it and do a direct comparison. But, but again, I open the door. That's the car, and I'll take. I guess I'll take off. Disconnected. I guess I'll take off one more time and. Uh, Two devices connected. And first, and this clutch has uh, 139 miles, so it's not even close to being bro uh, being fully broken in yet. And here we go, first gear. And then to second. As you can see, just it's smooth I'm not bragging or anything like that I just want you guys to know what it's supposed to sound like uh, what it can sound like I guess uh, you can say if you have a flight um, if you have a lightweight flywheel or you're kind of debating you've been reading the uh, uh, some the forms or, or talking to some mechanics or whatever you may be doing that um, uh, it is a decision to make um, you know my best advice is to go find someone with your car that has a lightweight flywheel it doesn't have to be the exact same one that uh, you're getting but uh, to get that get in that car and drive it and just see what it feels like see what it sounds like and see if the performance increase is worth the extra noise that you're going to get and of course uh, I'm not I can't uh, stress this enough. I'm not disrespecting lightweight uh, flywheels. I'm merely saying that with the OEM uh, dual mass flywheel, and obviously with a setup, um, uh, uh, with a setup that I have, it's going to be this quiet. Um, <clears throat> which so it's going to be at least as quiet as stock, and mine's actually quieter than mine was stock. Now mine uh, now has 40,000 miles, so of course it. Uh, it could have gotten more noisy but anyways 
with a lightweight flywheel it's not going to chatter the whole time you're driving it but it will chatter like i say from up until 2000 um, rpms uh, and some of them will chatter up until 2500 and different flywheels uh, will chatter more than others and uh, and the louder your exhaust you, you know i have uh, you know high flow cats i have uh, i have Burke High Flow Technology Cats on here, and I have I have uh, an Nvidia a Gemini True Dual Exhaust. So I so I have a fairly loud exhaust. So you know that will help drown it out if you have your music going. You know you know that's going to help as well. But um, you know it's just a decision to make. Uh, and what attracts people to it as well is a lightweight flywheel. Really, um, it's cheaper. I mean that's just the bottom line. Uh, like you can get a good nice lightweight flywheel I mean they come in all weights uh, from a, a solid company for $300 you know $400 you know maybe cheaper if you if if you go with a whole package with the clutch the pressure plate the flywheel and so on uh, you know as opposed to spending 800 something dollars which that was the cheapest I could get from a, a part vendor uh, for the uh, a brand new uh, dual mass flywheel that's actually you know OEM from uh, from Nissan uh, uh, if you do want to go with a brand new flywheel if you're replacing your clutch and, and you want to go ahead and change out the uh, flywheel and the reason you have to change it out is because you can't resurface the dual mass flywheels uh, on the uh, on these cars the uh, stock ones now I know what you guys are saying that that know about it you can but it takes a specialist it takes someone who knows how to uh, really lock that thing in there in the lathe and and knows what they're doing if you go to Nissan they, they are not going to tell you they can resurface it they're going to tell you it's going to need a brand new flywheel and pretty much uh, most places you go are going to tell you the same thing <clears throat> now if you shop around you can find someone who will be able to take your flywheel out and uh, you'll have a pretty good chance of getting your stock flywheel resurfaced which you know that may be 50 or 100 dollars and, and and that's it and then you put in your flywheel you know kind of like a, a new rotor uh, you know getting your rotors turned but there's nowhere around here that I found and not to mention the uh, flywheels the dual mass flywheels are pretty complicated pieces they're not just a slab of steel or slab of metal and they do wear out now they don't wear out with just you know a 40k on them on the car but uh, you know you know around 900k 120k they 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 start to wear out I mean they do I mean anything that has friction on it with like it's going to wear out and if you ever the biggest problem with this the main reason I had to do it was because my pedal uh, my clutch pedal down here fell fell to the floor I'm trying to get the camera on it would just fall straight straight to the floor about two inches off the floor and I had to get my toe to uh, pick it up and I got worse and worse and it wouldn't go into gear and I'd blah 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 and that's uh, due primarily most commonly to the slave cylinder failing it's a very common problem in the uh, 350z's and uh, and in the uh, 2007 and 2008's and on and I think even in the 370's they put the uh, uh, slave cylinders inside of the bell housing so you have to drop the transmission and anytime you drop your transmission you uh, want to uh, it's wise anyways if you have any kind of miles on the car if you have more than say 25,000 or 20,000 you really want to change out the clutch because it's it's a fairly fairly inexpensive part. This JWT clutch was you know three hundred something dollars at the most, and it's a really nice clutch. So uh, you know that's brand new. So you got a clutch if you break it in properly, you know will last you you know a hundred thousand miles plus. You know it just feels good to have a brand new flywheel. So the two surfaces of the new clutch and the flywheel are going to have the opportunity to mate. Uh, and properly you know break in not that it can't with a resurfaced one but uh, it, you know you can't go wrong with brand new 
And then, the, and then of course, the problem again was the slave cylinder. And, and anytime you replace your slave cylinder, it's always recommended that you go ahead and replace your master cylinder. So I ended up spending, uh, I got the best deals I could on my parts. And I, I ended up spending, um, let me start, start here again with the window down. I ended up spending about 1700 and something dollars shipped for all of my parts. Everything I mentioned, and that included a uh, Nismo roller bearing in which I, I decided not to put in the car. Uh, I don't advise you guys to put in a Nismo rolling bearing, roller bearing uh, unless you track your car and, and you know how to pull your transmission because it has to be serviced and blah, blah, blah. But um, I guess that's about it. Uh, those are the parts we're sitting here at f over 15 minutes so uh, it's super quiet I love it this is a good combination once again uh, if you like the uh, if you want a clutch that is going to be able to hold more horsepower is going to have a better pedal fill uh, and you want it quiet you know because I've I like this car it's my daily driver but I also want it to sound like a nice car. You know what I mean? Uh, and again, you guys with lightweight flywheels, I know uh, that you want to respond and 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 say you know mean things to me or or troll me or hate on me or whatever. I I would love to have a lightweight uh, a flywheel uh, if it didn't make that stupid chatter noise. That's just the bottom of the line. Um, so you know more power to you most people do go with the lightweight a flywheel it's actually not very common for people to put in a performance clutch like I have uh, and uh, and a heavy-duty slave cylinder heavy-duty master cylinder all uh, braided, braided stainless steel lines and so on and not put in a lightweight uh, flywheel it's almost like a missed opportunity you know but um, it's what I chose to do so uh, if you have any questions or you want to do the same setup it will cost you uh, roughly you could budget but we'll say eighteen nineteen hundred dollars for parts and uh, labor I, um, I was able to uh, call around and get it all done for six hundred dollars because labor doesn't have tax so just straight up six hundred dollars that's a very fair deal for all of that work uh, if you call up uh, a Nissan in some places, uh, I mean, you'll get quotes for a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, sometimes you know, eighteen, nineteen, two thousand dollars for for the uh, labor, which is just it's outrageously stupid. You really, it, it's about a six, seven hour job for everything that I got put in. Um, so somewhere in the neighborhood of five six seven seven hundred fifty dollars is a fair uh, labor job and it's definitely something you can do yourself uh, I could have done this myself I just did not want to do it uh, on jack stands in my driveway you know I just I just didn't want to do that it, it, it I could have done it I know how to do it if I had a lift I most certainly would have done it but I don't so $600 was most certainly worth having in my case I had a, a uh, Nissan master mechanic uh, who, had, who had worked at the this particular Nissan dealership for 25 years he was I think he's their senior mechanic and he started on it in the morning and he was done by uh, I think one or two o'clock in the afternoon May you know so it took him five six hours and he and it was perfect and you hear the car now all the noise you hear here is just my exhaust which again is the Burke high flow cats with uh, the Nvidia Gemini uh, dual exhaust I actually have the uh, titanium round tips which have a little of a, a blue kind of purplish blue tint on the edges of the tips anyways take care guys